Advisory Board member T.W. Shannon, Johns Hopkins University professor Wendy Osefo. So, Wendy, what happened? Why didn't Joe Biden do better? Critics said, oh, no, the president's going to lose and you're going to gain. But it didn't happen that way. Well, he gained, but he gained only one point, and I think it's because right now Biden is yeah. leading with a significant lead against Trump. And when it comes to significant issues that voters are going to go to the election booth in 13 days to vote on, he's leading in those issues, too. Whether that's, you know, his handling of the pandemic, he's leading that by 12 points. Whether that's the next Supreme Court pick, he's leading that by six points. Or whether that's who's going to be able to unify this country, Biden is leading Trump by 20 points. So although we didn't see a significant boost after the first, you know, debate, which was a debacle. And after hearing that President Trump, you know, was um, hospitalized due to coronavirus, he's still leading. And I applaud that. But let's remember that it's not about the polls. Right. Polls don't determine who the next president is. It's the individuals who go to the polls to actually vote that will determine who the next president will be. T.W., what does it show about the president, though, that Joe Biden, with that lead that he has, couldn't tick it up further? Well, Harris, this sounds like deja vu all over again. I mean, I mean, it sounds as if 2016 is reoccurring. The fact that we're hearing people from the left saying that there's no way President Trump can win, it's over, the race is done, it's just nonsense. And we know better than anybody that the enthusiasm for the Trump campaign, it's real. Everywhere I go across this country, People are excited to go line up for President Trump. In fact, Republicans are overperforming where they were estimated when it comes to early voting. So even in states where Trump uh, was down, we're seeing the polls moving in our direction. So I'm pretty confident on election night that President Trump is going to become victorious. And when you look at the enthusiasm gap that exists, it's incredible. President Trump has the momentum, and he's going to win. Just like they told us we couldn't beat Hillary Clinton, they're telling us we can't beat Joe Biden. Uh, but it's going to happen election night, and I'm excited to see it happen. Well, I know Wendy isn't excited about polling, but I have to show this. New York Times Siena poll finding 49 percent of people say they're actually better off than they were four years ago. Now, that's something that Democrats say people weren't going to say. Take a look at this. However, 55 percent of people say the country is worse off than it was four years ago. So they're better off, the country not. Uh, Wendy. So I think it's that whole notion of what matters, the collective or the individual, right? And I think right now, with our country being in a global pandemic, also facing issues of surrounding social injustice, we want this country to be better for everyone. We want to unite our nation. We want all of us to be better off. And right now, when we look at what's coming out of both campaigns, the person who is using the language of uniting us and pushing us forward as a united front is Joe Biden. And people want to see that. We don't right. want any more divisive rhetoric. And so, you know, on November 3rd, I've got to jump in. And Wendy, forgive me. I, I am short on time, and I want to give TW just a few seconds to respond. Go ahead. Yeah, Harrison, I'm just surprised to even hear Wendy say that. The reality is this. People are admitting that even with the global pandemic, race wars, a shutdown economy, people are still better off than they were when Joe Biden was in the White House. And that's just the reality. And it's because of the policies of President Trump. Good to see you both. Next time, hope to have more time. Wendy, TW.